happy to say that World Zero Beta has finally been released. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this update and it is finally here! So this includes a new World 3 hub that we will have to explore as well as two new subclasses which are the Paladin and Berserker. So of course there are a lot more than that so make sure to watch till the end to see what the new World 3 looks like. So right now I am in front of the Aura Chest Shop which holds a royal Aura Chest and an elegant Aura Chest. So each one contains its own Auras and the Royal Aura Chest is 800 and the Elegant Aura Chest is 400. So obviously I'm gonna get the cheaper one. <laughs> so now I'm gonna buy one of these Elegant Aura Chests and see what I unbox. All right, let's see guys. Let's see, <gasps> what am I gonna get? And I got a, wait, what is that? <gasps> No way! It's a five tier item! It's Bubble Trouble. Whoa, this aura is so cool. Let's let's equip it. <gasps> oh guys, check this out. I have Bubble Trouble right now on my sword. That's so cool. So for the players that have gotten World Zero during Alpha, they received the Alpha Wings and 1,500 crystals. So they can use that to spend on the clothes or accessories from the crystal shop, or they can spend it on these aura chests. So while I was on my way grinding to level 30, I saw this person holding this yellow light up sword, and I'm pretty sure this is Paladin subclass. So this is what I will unlock at level 30. Well, it took so long to finally get to level 18, but it's worth it because we're going to get to level 30, which is the level to see the World 3 hub. So this dungeon I'm currently in is called Mama Trauma. <laughs> it's actually called that. It's Mama Trauma, and I can see why, because there's like the Mama Quilladil, and then there's like the Baby Quilladils. I actually haven't done a video on this before, so this is how you get through Mama Trauma. Just in case you guys were wondering. We gotta do the parkour. Oh yeah. Parkour master right here. And then we are finally at the bridge. Normally you would think we had to cross this bridge, but nope. You yeet yourself off the bridge and you end up here. So the waterfall just washes you to this goblin camp and you basically just destroy the goblins. <laughs> I'm going to do a walkthrough on Mama Trauma for those of you that are new to World Zero. going to defeat this goblin knight to access this elevator that will bring us to victory. World Zero updated at night at like around 11 and I basically didn't sleep so <laughs> that's that's why my voice is kind of shaky right now
is kind of hard at first. You won't have much of a problem if you are patient with the little pistons since they can be kind of annoying if you get knocked off and need to walk all the way over again. Now we have to jump on these mushrooms to get to the boss room, as I like to call it. And this is the Mama Quilladil. Mama Trauma. So she shoots this uh, little, these spears at you. They're kind of venomous. She runs away and you basically try to attack her. Make sure not to get hit by her tail though, or else she'll, she can send you flying like so far away. cleared this mission and we are about to open this chest <gasps> we got a poison splash that's really good and then our other chest we got a great axe so after a while of farming I am finally level 29 almost to level 30 and as you guys already know it this is the Volcano Dungeon. I've done a lot of videos on this. So if you guys wanna watch a video on how to complete the Volcano Dungeon, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you to check out. to defeat the Cerberus Volcano Guardian and I think that will just about bring me to level 30. <gasps> Yay! We're finally level 30! Alright, after all this grinding, I am finally level 30. And you know what that means, guys? I can unlock the World 3 hub. Oh, and also I got a, a Spire Slayer. Now it's time to go back to World 2. Upgrade our stuff really quick. So upgrade our Spire Slayer. Now we can finally go to the World 3 hub and see what it looks like. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. <gasps> wow, this place is magnificent. Look at this snow. Ooh, it's getting kind of cold here. Ooh, I'm not used to it. I was in a volcano just now. There's a Christmas tree. Ooh, there's snow everywhere. And here's the bank. You can store all your items there. There's the upgrade place. Oh yeah, and there's also a new pet egg, which is called the crystal egg. You can get, oh that raptor. Wow, it looks like a pinata. Goose. Whoa, that pet goo looks kind of intimidating. Okay, <laughs> ooh, pricey here. This crystal egg costs 20,000 coins. I, I could see why the goos are interesting. <laughs> they're, they're very unique. They're like really different. They're really different from the past pets because here they have like mythical creatures and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go back so now we're done looking at the pets and we are on our way to the missions portal. This is where it is. The place where we get all the good drops. Are you ready guys? We're going to go in a mission 
solo for the first time. Oh, but first, I'm going to switch to Paladin. Its role is a tank, and its primary is a longsword, and its offhand is a shield. So, my Spire Slayer that I just got, and the shield that we got from World 1. Okay, so let's check out the new skills. <gasps> check it out, guys. We have this block skill. You can use to block your enemies, take less damage, or not take any damage at all. That's pretty OP. And then we have that, which heals your allies, people in your team. And then there's that, and it shoots a beam of light that will destroy anything in its path. And then we have the ultimate move, the Ring of Justice. So what it does is taking damage heals your allies and enters light sword mode for the duration. Now we're going to start off with Mountain Pass. And this raid will give you these drops. They look really nice. Ooh, okay. Let's do this, guys. World 3 Mountains. here. Wow, delicious. <gasps> Remember the crab rave from World 1? I can't forget that. That's just beautiful. So, now we are just going to finish these mobs off and see what comes next. Now that my ultimate move is all charged up, let's use it. Destroy the monsters. All right. These mobs have an ice effect to it. It can freeze you sometimes. It depends on which mob. So like the, the snow golems right here, the frost golems, they actually do a move. Instead of knocking you down like a regular golem, they freeze you and you become a block of ice, basically. Oh, there it is. So did you guys see that? I just got frozen by this frost golem here. It pounced on me and it has the same effect as when a normal golem knocks you down. It basically doesn't let me move for like a few seconds. Hi, I'm Elsa. I was like so confused. I didn't know where to go and I looked down. It, it seemed to be safe down there. I was like, hmm, seems kind of sus. So I jumped down and it was actually the right path. So yay. Now let's defeat the rest of the monsters and continue up this path to the boss. So now we are here at the boss, which is the Woolly Mammoth. And what it can do is freeze you. So watch out for that, guys. Since this subclass, the pa the pa pl 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 platypus. <laughs> Alright, the platypus. 
since this subclass, the Paladin, is really OP, it wasn't a problem in defeating this boss. while the berserkers destroy them. So this is more of like a tank, as you guys already know. Basically, the Paladin can do anything, like tank, heal, damage, I don't know, you name it. So it is really OP. And the Berserker class can damage while the Paladin is tanking. So the Paladin and the Berserker subclasses work really well together. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And in the next video, we will continue to the next two raids. There are a lot of tier five items. So stay tuned for the next video where I'll be going over those new items and possibly the best drops you can get in World Zero. So hit that like button down below if you found this helpful. Subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified for when I post a video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!